And right. we know March can be a little tricky, and that's what we're dealing with now. Exactly. We've enjoyed this nice streak with sunshine and above average temperatures. We're about to go below average, and we do have a chance for some rain and snow in the forecast as well. Nothing going on tonight. Notice we are rain free across most of the eastern U.S., snow free as well, out towards the plains and into the Rockies. That's where we're seeing some precipitation right now. And it looks like our next chance for rain will be coming with a storm system on Friday. It looks like tomorrow, though, is going to be another nice day. Chilly right now, upper 30s, lower 40s. The only difference is the wind isn't blowing as hard tonight as it was the past couple of nights, so at least we'll, uh, have, we'll have to deal with that. But temperatures are still going to be chilly nonetheless. Upper 20s to around 30 degrees for overnight lows, around 31 here in Baltimore overnight tonight. But plenty of sunshine expected here for your Thursday. So in case you haven't gotten a chance to enjoy the past few days outside, you got another day to do it here for tomorrow. So there's our area of high pressure that's giving us the nice weather. It will slide away from the region here by the time we head towards tomorrow afternoon. And then we're going to start to see the clouds increase by late tomorrow night. And then Friday, we're going to be watching this system move into our area very quickly. I still think that Friday morning will be dry, with the exception of far western Maryland, where they're going to be dealing with some wintry weather out that way. Then as we go throughout the day, we're going to see the possibility of perhaps a few snowflakes mixing in at the onset, maybe as far east as I-95. Better chances up near the Pennsylvania border. But then it's just going to be a cold rain. And that's really all we're expecting out of this system mostly is a cold rain through Friday. Now, as the system begins pulling away on Saturday morning, we could see a change over to some light snow before ending, but it doesn't look like it'll be anything significant. We'll have a brief break coming up on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and then into the day Sunday. But then by Sunday evening, we're going to be tracking yet another fast-moving system that will bring us the possibility of some more rain, perhaps mixing in with a little bit of snow, and that could last through early on uh, uh, what Monday morning. So the timing now looks to be late, late Sunday through Monday morning before moving out of the region here uh, by Monday afternoon, but it does look like it'll stay kind of cloudy and chilly here for the first part of next week. So here's your Thursday's highs, upper 40s, lower 50s, so it should be another very nice day, but then you contrast that to Friday, mostly cloudy skies and a good chance for rain in the forecast. Again, we could get a couple of snowflakes mixed in here from uh, time to time, and especially as we go into uh, Saturday morning. So here's a look at your first alert 7 8 forecast, and we're going to go through this in detail here. Partly cloudy skies expected here for tomorrow. Highs 53, so get out and enjoy the sunshine here for tomorrow. As we go into Friday, though, that's where we're going to start to see the rain move in. It's going to be an afternoon and evening chance for rain, and we'll be watching for that possibility of some snowflakes mixing in. That should last through Saturday morning with snowflakes there, then just mostly cloudy and chilly here for your Saturday. Then we'll see that break again for Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Sunday, rain moving back. Back in late, late Sunday evening into Sunday night. Could see a few more snowflakes mixed in here for Monday. But the thing you really need to take away from the seven day forecast is we don't have any 60s on here. And after tomorrow, no more 50s all the way through next week. But so, you know what? Once we get through next week, we're about halfway through March and we're almost there. Opening day, gonna be here before we know it. Yeah, just turning the corner, just light us in at, at the end of the tunnel. So we've got to focus yeah. on. Derek, thank you. <laughs>